What is up, guys? I meant to post earlier. Sean's corner is well overdue. Here we go. Okay, guys, what are we missing on the Switch? What aren't we missing on the Switch? Don't get me wrong, I love the console. I absolutely love it. Like, everything about it. I have to tell myself, like, every day to not buy another game to add to my collection because that's how much I love this console. Now, am I fanboying? Am I, you know, this or that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. I probably am. So, whatever. But, I'm not going to deny that there are some very, very important things that need to be brought to the Switch that just have not yet. Maybe I should just play a video in the background. T team out, team out, team out. So back to the topic at hand. Basically, yes. <laughs> so the most important things that the Nintendo Switch needs that it does not have, and obviously we know this, are data saves, online service, and most importantly, virtual console. Okay, but in all seriousness, guys, the things that are necessities are are obvious. I mean, data saves, uh, cloud saves, having that so accessible, that's that's hands down a necessity. That's something that we really have to have on the system. It's 2018 for crying out loud. Like, if my game break, if my system breaks, if I drop my switch, if I just freaking throw out the window right now, and I can't access my save states, or if you know for some reason something gets jacked up and corrupted, and that's not accessible in the cloud in the Nintendo server somewhere, then why the freak did I buy the system and put a bajillion hours into all these games? I feel bad for the people that put like 400 hours into like Xenoblade Chronicles too, because you lose that data, you might as well just go jump out the window with your Switch head first. So guys, that's just plain and simple. It's really pretty straightforward, and honestly, it'd be super simple to just access that in the settings and be able to have that somewhere with the data management and just be able to set that up. I mean, even just to link it to your account, don't even get me started on the stupid Nintendo website and the accounts that they have to do with that. So that could be fixed as well. But baby steps, baby steps. Let's not, let's not put too much on Nintendo's plate. We just want cloud saves. Let's get that going because as soon as that is implemented, as soon as that is a thing, not only are people that are Switch owners already going to be a lot more comfortable and a lot more confident with Nintendo and giving them our money for all these games we're just putting hours and hours into, but people that don't have Switches yet, they're going to want to buy a Switch. I know people that haven't bought a Switch legit specifically for that reason. Well, there's probably other reasons and games that they want to see. But that reason alone is something that's really keeping them from buying the Switch, from putting the money into it, and playing all these amazing games. So, like, just fix it. It's not that hard. I mean, I could probably figure it out, and I know literally nothing about designing game stuff. I'm moving, so it's it's a problem. Lots of stuff everywhere. Oh, it's like, if we're not recording, I'm going to... Okay, guys, next on the list, and this is something that, blah, it just... Blah. Why? Why, 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 why? The stupid online, what is it even? The, the app for the phone, that they actually have a app to use. The Nintendo has an app on the phone to, it, there's a mobile app that you can use which basically allows you to chat and play games like uh, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart that are online and enables you to talk with other people, other players on the Switch. Now. Why, 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 why would I want to buy a system that's portable, first of all, it can be, you know, play it dock, play it at home, or take it portable, and then have to have my phone with me, put my headphones in my phone, probably buy another pair of headphones so I can actually listen to the game that's playing, put it in my other ear, and then be talking to people in one ear, and listening to the game in the other ear, and holding my phone stashed in my shirt or pocket or something, and then be playing my Switch at the same time. Like, how does that make any sense. Nintendo actually said it would be a very convenient way for us to, to play the system and I, they just, they're lying. Liars. So this is from one fanboy to another and to people that are hating on me that are the part of the PC Mega Race or Supreme Race or Megatron Race, whatever it is. I own a PC too by the way guys. Like, how am I doing editing otherwise? But we need to get rid of that stupid app, and we just need an online service that's actually going to take care of us. And again, the online service has been pushed out like a year plus now, like or it's about a year later than it was supposed to be. So 
it better be dang good. And they said it's good, and it said it's gonna be good, and so September comes around, if I don't have Smash in my hands, and an online service allows me to talk to my friends, chat, invite them to play more games, then, I mean, I guess I'll probably just wait more, but... But really, Nintendo, come on. I mean, this is something that we need. If you want to sell 20 million units, then you guys need to get your shiz together. And, you know, I'm confident that they... They're... I'm not confident, actually. But I have a little bit of faith and hope that they'll actually be able to execute this right. And, I mean, we live in 2018. I mean, come on. They should be able to get a voice chat and an online service that's going to take care of us, that we're going to be able to use. It's going to be simplified and structured and freaking, again, that's 2018. <laughs> We've had this on PlayStation and Xbox for like ever. So, guys, those are necessities. We have to have these on the Switch. Now, like I said, the most important to me, not really, but it's pretty dang important, virtual freaking console. Where are you? If we don't get Virtual Console soon, then I'm just going to go play my Nintendo 64. But really guys, I mean, the money that Nintendo will make off of software sales alone will destroy a lot of stuff that they've made on these Nindy games and all this other stuff. And a lot of people have, you know, speculated and rumored, there, I mean, there's tons of videos that I've seen on YouTube from these big YouTubers that say, you know, Basically, Nintendo is holding out on this because they're trying to allow their Nindies sales and their other third-party games that have been coming on and these ports and stuff so that those things won't be kind of overshadowed by Virtual Console, which I see, I can understand that. And others have kind of explained that they're holding off on it when things start to get slow. Why don't you release it now? Like, this is a pretty slow time for Nintendo. Not really, we're getting some okay games. But I do understand those ideas, it's just that I think regardless, if people want to buy, if people want to play games, they're going to play games. So if you guys are really just holding out for these third party developers, then I, I don't know, I think that's a miss. I mean, if you really want to hit that 20 million sales, you need to start putting out that VC content now, because as soon as people start seeing, what? I can play Mario 64? I can play Star Fox? I can play... You know, Metroid, I can play literally any of these old games. The old Super Smash Bros, like, oh man, Super Smash Bros is coming out this year. I can play Super Smash Bros 64, Melee, Brawl, all on my Switch on the go. Dude, I will buy all three of those games in a row. That's one person, times that by literally everybody else that I know, and you've sold software for forever, basically. Money is, is infinite. I love how I'm using my Joy-Cons this whole time as I've been talking. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. I have it up on one screen, like, I'm not even playing anything, I'm just, like, looking at it, so, setting it down. But guys, the, the virtual console games that they can have out on the system already, I mean, again, I do on cloud saves before that, I guess, because I've only beaten Ocarina of Time a hundred times, so, kind of want that stuff saved, I guess. But being able to take all these games on the go is is huge. I mean, a, a physical release of all the Zelda games, all HD remakes, I'd buy it hands down. But having literally just port over a freaking Nintendo 64 game, I don't even care. It doesn't have to be the 3D version from the 3DS. Old school, just port it so it fits onto the screen and sold. You have my, you have my money. I'll give it right now. So... The fact that we haven't seen this yet, and we're probably not going to hear anything at least until maybe fall, when we get the online service, it's it's pretty. It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. And lastly, guys, really just just having some kind of customization, updating the UI, and having something to either have folders. I mean, just look at PlayStation, look at Xbox. Like they have it figured out for their own systems, and they're different. They're not lookalikes. They're not exactly the same. They have their own kind of personality I guess you could say and Nintendo's is very simplified which is okay but once you have over like 10 games then you have to go all the way over to the far right you know click on the, the folder to open up to just show the whole list of games vertically and horizontally you know what I'm saying like like this you know what I'm saying you know being able to see all the software open at one time like this why can't they just have this as the main menu, basically? Or why can't they have something to drop down and have folders and things like that? Or even just the ability to do this? I mean, it doesn't have to, like, not everybody's system has to be the same. Like, why? 
themes, things like that. Those are optional, I think. I don't think those are necessities for us. I mean, we, we mainly just want stuff that's going to be practical and that's going to function. And again, this does okay because obviously people have the system and people play it. But guys, it's so simple. Like, just let me in the room for one day and be like, oh, boo, update 6.0. Sean did it. You're welcome. See you never. But I mean, I again, I wouldn't say this is a necessity, but it is. Just do it. Oh, man. I don't even know what else to say, guys. That's about it. Guys, let me know what you guys think about Virtual Console. When do you guys think it's going to come out? Um, do you guys think that they're going to be successful in the online service or they're going to totally butcher it? Let me know. Comments below. Like, subscribe. Um, check us out on Instagram. We got a new brand new Instagram meme page and it's pretty savage. So, Dank Memes on the daily. And uh, Sean Farley, Farley Bros, signing out. As always, we'll see ya. All I'm asking, I mean, just pour it over. Just, just pour it over like this. I don't even care. Just pour it over like this. Pour it over just like this. And I will buy it. Hey. 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 Hey.